Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. The point of sale, sometimes even known as a point of purchase, is where the time and place of a transaction is completed and the amount owed is calculated, indicated, and an invoice is even prepared. So essentially it's a place where customers can execute their payments for goods or services. For example, a cashier or checkout counter. Retailers and enterprises utilize the point of sale technology to expedite transactions. A point of sale system isn't a standalone machine or procedure. Instead, it's a collection of components that when combined, allow businesses to effectively handle customer facing transactions while also streamlining business processes associated with these transactions. In today's video, we'll examine how blockchain might improve point of sale systems. As always, if you find this topic interesting, then you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know if you find it interesting by saying so in the comments section down below. Now let's jump into it. First, it's essential to grasp the foundations of a point of sale system. Starting with the point of sale system hardware components. The cash register is the first hardware component of a point of sale system. As the name implies, transaction details are recorded. It could be a PC display with a touch screen or a mobile device with a point of sale app. The cashier drawer is the next component and it's used to keep the daily takings and cash flow, as well as checks, vouchers, receipts, and accounting slips. The third component is the receipt printer, which generates receipts for payments made by customers. The barcode scanner is the next component. In retail situations, a barcode scanner is often used to scan the unique barcode on the products and automatically update the product count based on the items sold. Another significant piece of technology is the card machine, which can read data from a credit or debit card and process payments. So let's have a look at the current point of sale systems. The current point of sale system has to manage three separate databases, product, purchase, and inventory. When a customer orders a meal, the product database displays the item's price on a computer or a tablet screen. The purchase database's payment mode status is updated when a customer pays a bill. To track the availability of items, the information from the placed order is regularly updated in the inventory database. However, a point of sale system does more than collect information about item transactions. Several parties are involved in the point of sale process, including regulators, government agencies, and central authorities. As a result, it's an expensive process. So imagine you own a restaurant. In that situation, you have to guarantee that the food you serve is safe and correctly packaged. And you also have to report this to a food regulator. Currently, a business owner would have to communicate with a regulator by email and information would be recorded in Excel sheets or a centralized database. A business owner also has to file taxes on time. If the government changes its taxation policies, then a business owner has to request that the new rules be incorporated into the point of sale system. As a result, the overall process can be lengthy. Connecting point of sales to a decentralized network like blockchain could eliminate intermediaries while increasing system credibility via smart contracts. From inventory management to the calculation of sales and taxes and customer data usage to automate payments, blockchain can securely and effectively simplify point of sales. Now let's have a look at blockchain's impact on point of sale systems. First is storing data on a blockchain. Billings, taxes, customer ratings, orders placed every day, and inventory information can be kept on blockchain. Before a transaction occurs, smart contracts process incoming data and ensure taxes, rules, and compliance are met. Blockchain allows all stakeholders, including raw material providers, dealers, buyers, regulators, and other authorities to access immutable data stored on the distributed ledger transparently. Every network participant has access to and controls the information on the blockchain. For example, suppose a restaurant owner needs to acquire vegetables to cook a dish. In that case, blockchain can assist confirming whether the vegetables were purchased from an allowed seller or not. Blockchain can also increase transparency by allowing customers to access previous bills at any time. Payments through crypto. When a consumer places an order, the payment can be debited automatically from their crypto wallets and transferred to the business owner's wallet. The specifics of the transaction are kept on the blockchain and can potentially be used for taxation or audit purposes. Instant audits. 
Since an auditor or a legal authority involved in the blockchain point of sale ecosystem can immediately access timestamp documents relating to taxation and payment, smart contracts can be used to conduct annual or quarterly audits fast. Now let's look at the advantages that a blockchain based point of sale system could bring to various players in the system. Firstly, blockchain can save costs by eliminating the need for intermediaries such as accountants, consultants, or even auditors, because regulations can be written to smart contracts. The use of blockchain would allow headquarters to conduct tax audits on a monthly, quarterly, or yearly basis promptly and without problems. As a result, tax filing could be completed a lot more quickly. And thirdly, companies can manage inventory more efficiently since they can immediately acquire information about commonly purchased items from the blockchain. Now let's look at benefits to customers. First of all, consumers can keep track of their monthly costs by accessing the available information at any time. Secondly, buyers can use blockchain to pay their bills automatically through crypto wallets. And thirdly, customers can even follow the origin of raw materials because everything is maintained on the blockchain, is verifiable and done so transparently. Now let's have a look at the simple process through smart contracts. Government agencies can build regulations into smart contracts to ensure that taxes are applied correctly. Smart contracts could also ensure that raw material suppliers adhere to the requirements. Buyers can also enable auto payments using smart contracts incorporated in crypto wallets. And also when a customer pays a bill, the smart contracts can update the ledger to make the state as paid and smart contracts can also create annual sales data automatically. The use of blockchain and point of sale systems is a step in the right direction. They won't only allow existing crypto holders to spend their holdings, but it will also continue to normalize the market and bring new people into it. Also with no chargebacks and lower transaction fees, they may even provide shops with better value for money. So there we have it, a look at adapting blockchain solutions for a point of sale system. Once again, if you found this topic interesting, don't forget to let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.